I, um, I like to start with, I, I love America. I love the United States. I love the colors, the flag, everything about it. In senior year in college, um, September 11th happened. I knew that that day I wasn't only going to wear my uniform on American soil, but probably foreign soil as well. So a few months later, I got commissioned as an Army officer um, in the Transportation Corps. And then two years later, I found myself boarding a plane with my bulletproof vest on, Kevlar on, and heading over to Iraq um, and hope that you know I can make a difference in the world. Just like any other day, I woke up, had my briefing, got in my Humvee like I had done every day for the past three weeks. Only this day, 10 minutes into the ride, big explosion happens, it's deafening boom. The, I look up, the, the windshield is cracked, the vehicle swerves, we hit a guardrail, and we end up crashing into this Iraqi woman's house. And so what could be a pretty long story to make it a little bit shorter is that day resulted in the loss of my left leg above the knee. The, we, my vehicle has been struck by a roadside bomb and whether it was the blast from the bomb, ricocheting off of the guardrail, whatever it was, my leg was gone immediately, it was, it was severed. And lucky for me, there was a combat medic a few vehicles back. He came over, he pulled me out of my vehicle, laid me on the sands of Iraq, he put a tourniquet on, I was losing a lot of blood, and he really saved my life. I was um, led into a life-saving surgery in the Baghdad emergency room. Spent a day there, um, made the trip through Launchville, Germany, eventually back at Walter Reed. And Walter Reed Army Medical Center in Washington, D.C., if any of you have ever been there, it's a really powerful place. So there I was, 24 years old, you know, had both my legs, and suddenly it was taken from me, like, in an instant. But I got to Walter Reed, and I looked around, and you see so much there. I saw soldiers missing two, three, four limbs, their eyesight, traumatic brain injuries, and I thought, holy cow, am I lucky. So learning to walk again, um, being able to learn that I could still be an athlete, and after, you know, a few years in there of, of um, competitive swimming, swimming at the 2008 Paralympic Games in Beijing, China, and now with the hope of representing my country again this year um, in Rio for triathlon, where I hope to swim, bike, and run my way to the top of the podium. But since then, it's been a... Um, <laughs> but like, like, like Amy said, you know, there's these things, you don't expect them in life, and they come at you, these obstacles, but I mean, I've done more in my life with one leg than I ever would have done with two. I have the opportunities I've had, the people I've met, the places I've traveled. I got married last year. I have a one-year-old son. I have my service dog, Jake, who is the star of the show. The star of the show. <laughs> um, but my life is amazing. I mean, I love life. I would go back and do it all again. Unbelievable. It's incredible.